The genetic history of Egypt's demographics reflects its geographical location at the crossroads of several major biocultural areas North Africa, the Sahara, the Middle East, the Mediterranean, and Sub Saharan Africa. Ancient DNA contamination from handling and intrusion from microbes create obstacles to the recovery of ancient DNA. Consequently, most DNA studies have been carried out on modern Egyptian populations with the intent of learning about the influences of historical migrations on the population of Egypt. A study published in 1993 was performed on ancient mummies of the 12th dynasty, which identified multiple lines of descent. 2017 DNA study A study published in 2017 by an international team of scientists led by researchers from the University of Tübingen and the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History in Jena described the extraction and analysis of DNA from 151 mummified ancient Egyptian individuals, whose remains were recovered from Abusir el Malek in Middle Egypt. Obtaining well-preserved, uncontaminated DNA from mummies has been a problem for the field of archaeogenetics and these samples provided the first reliable data set obtained from ancient Egyptians using high-throughput DNA sequencing methods. The specimens were living in a period stretching from the late New Kingdom to the Roman era. Complete mitochondrial DNA sequences were obtained for 90 of the mummies and were compared with each other and with several other ancient and modern datasets. 83 of the mummies were individuals who lived in dynasties later than the 21st dynasty. The oldest mummy, sample JK2887 is dated to 1388–1311 BC of the New Kingdom period. The scientists found that the ancient Egyptian individuals in their own dataset possessed highly similar mitochondrial profiles throughout the examined period. Modern Egyptians generally shared this maternal haplogroup pattern but also carried more sub-Saharan North and East African clades. A wide range of mtDNA haplogroups were found including clades of J, U, H, HV, M, R0, R2, K, T, L, I, N, X, W. However, analysis of the mummy's mtDNA haplogroups found that they shared greater mitochondrial affinities with genetic relatives of Neolithic and Bronze Age populations from the Near East, Anatolia and Eastern Mediterranean Europeans compared to modern Egyptians. Additionally, three of the ancient Egyptian mummified individuals were analyzed for Y-DNA. Two were assigned to West Asian J and one to haplogroup E1B1B1 both common in North Africa. The researchers cautioned that the affinities of the examined ancient Egyptian specimens may not be representative of those of all ancient Egyptians since they were from a single archaeological site. The study was able to measure the mitochondrial DNA of 90 individuals, and it showed that the mitochondrial DNA composition of Egyptian mummies has shown a high level of affinity with the DNA found in the Near East, Anatolia and Eastern Mediterranean Europeans. A shared drift and mixture analysis of the DNA of these ancient Egyptian mummies shows that the connection is strongest with ancient populations of North, East and Sub-Saharan Africans and to a lesser extent populations from the South Africa and Middle East. In particular the study finds, that ancient Egyptians are most closely related to Neolithic and Bronze Age samples in the Levant, as well as to Neolithic African and Cushitic populations. However, the study showed that comparative data from a contemporary population under Roman rule in Africa did reveal a closer relationship to the ancient Egyptians from the same period. Furthermore, genetic continuity between ancient and modern Egyptians cannot be ruled out despite this sub Saharan African influx, while continuity with modern Ethiopians is not supported. Genome wide data could only be successfully extracted from three of these individuals. Of these three, the Y chromosome haplogroups of two individuals could be assigned to J and one to haplogroup E1B1B1 both common in North Africa. The absolute estimates of sub-Saharan African ancestry in these three individuals ranged from 6 to 15 percent, which is significantly lower than the level of sub-Saharan African ancestry in the modern Egyptians from Abusir, who range from 14 to 21 percent. The study's authors cautioned that the mummies may be unrepresentative of the ancient Egyptian population as a whole, since they were recovered from the northern part of Egypt. Verena Schunemann and the authors of this study suggest a high level of genetic interaction with the Near East since ancient times, probably going back to prehistoric Egypt although the oldest mummies at the site were from the New Kingdom. Our data seem to indicate close admixture and affinity at a much earlier date, 
which is unsurprising given the long and complex connections between Egypt and the Middle East. These connections date back to prehistory and occurred at a variety of scales, including overland and maritime commerce, diplomacy, immigration, invasion and deportation. Professor Stephen Quirk, an Egyptologist at University College London, expressed caution about the researchers' broader claims, saying that, there has been this very strong attempt throughout the history of Egyptology to disassociate ancient Egyptians from the modern population. He added that he was, particularly suspicious of any statement that may have the unintended consequences of asserting, yet again from a Northern European or North American perspective, that there's a discontinuity there. Blood typing and ancient DNA sampling on Egyptian mummies is scant. However, blood typing of dynastic period mummies found their ABO frequencies to be most similar to that of modern Egyptians. 2018 Mitochondrial DNA of Dehutinat In 2018 the 4,000-year-old mummified head of Dehutinat was discovered in Middle Egypt at Deir el Bersha in 1915. Dehutinat was a governor in the Middle Kingdom Egypt of the 11th or 12th dynasty was analyzed for mitochondrial DNA. The sequence of the mummy most closely resembles a U5A lineage from sample JK2903, a much more recent 2,000-year-old skeleton from the Abusir el Malek site in Egypt although no direct matches to the Dehutinat sequence have been reported. Haplogroup U5 is also found in modern-day Berbers from the Siwa oasis in Egypt. A 2008 article by C. Kudre, The Complex and Diversified Mitochondrial Gene Pool of Berber Populations, recorded haplogroup U5 at 16.7% for the Siwa whereas haplogroup U6 is more common in other Berber populations to the west of Egypt. 2012 and 2020 DNA analysis by Zahi Hawass researchers, Egypt in 2012 the DNA of the 20th dynasty mummies of Ramesses III and another mummy, unknown man E. Believed to be Ramesses III's son Pentawur were analyzed by Albert Zink, Yahya Z. Gad and a team of researchers under Zahi Hawass, then Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, Egypt. Genetic kinship analyses revealed identical haplotypes in both mummies using the Wit Athes haplogroup predictor. They identified the Y chromosomal haplogroup E1B1A in 2020. Yahya Z. Gad and other researchers of the Hawass team published results of an analysis of the mitochondrial and Y chromosomal haplogroups of several mummies of 18th dynasty, including Tutankhamun, in the journal Human Molecular Genetics, Volume 30, Issue R1, 1 March 2021, pages R24R28 https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot one oh nine three slash hmg slash dot two two three results were used to provide information about the phylogenetic groups of his family members and their presence among the reported contemporary Egyptian population data the analysis confirmed previous data of the Tutankhamun's ancestry with multiple controls authenticating all results the proposed sibling relationship between Tutankhamun's parents Akhenaten and the mummy known as the «younger lady» is further supported. Genetic analysis indicated the following haplogroups, Tutankhamun Y-DNA R1b, MTDNA K Akhenaten Y-DNA R1b, MTDNA K Taya MTDNA K Amenhotep III Y-DNA R1b, MTDNA K Yuya G2a, MTDNA K Thuya MTDNA K The clade of R1b was not determined in this study. In the IGENA study of 2010, the clade determined of R1b was RM269 which is essentially present in Europe and Middle East. A high frequency of R1b1a2, another clade of R1b, was observed among the Berbers from the Siwa oasis in Egypt and this haplogroup reaches its highest frequency in Northar Cameroon at frequencies as high as 95%. It is also found in some individuals in Southern Europe and Western Asia. Private testing companies have speculated about the clade of R1b in these 18th dynasty mummies but the clade has not been indicated in this peer-reviewed journal article and it may not be able to be determined at this time. Yuya unlike the other Amarna males was identified as carrying Y-DNA haplogroup G2a. He was an ancient Egyptian courtier and married to Juyu, an Egyptian noblewoman. Their daughter Taya became the wife of Amenhotep III. Yuya's parents are unknown. 2020 Paleogenetic Study of Ancient Mummies at the Kerchatov Institute in 2023 Mummies, dating to the 1st millennium BCE, 
from the Pushkin Museum of Arts collection were tested at the Kurchatov Institute of Moscow for their mitochondrial and Y-chromosomal haplogroups. Two of the mummies were found to belong to Y-chromosomal haplogroups R1b1a1b and E1b1b1a1b2a4b5a and mtDNA haplogroups L3h1 and N5, respectively. The third mummy was found to belong to mtDNA haplogroup N. DNA studies on modern Egyptians Genetic analysis of modern Egyptians reveals that they have paternal lineages common to other indigenous Afroasiatic-speaking populations in the Maghreb and Horn of Africa, and to Middle Eastern peoples. These lineages would have spread during the Neolithic and were maintained by the pre-dynastic period. A study by Krings et al. On mitochondrial DNA clines along the Nile Valley found that a Eurasian cline runs from northern Egypt to southern Sudan and a sub-Saharan cline from southern Sudan to northern Egypt. Luis et al. found that the male haplogroups in a sample of 147 Egyptians were E1b1b, J, G, T, and R. E1b1b subclades are characteristic of some Afro-Asiatic speakers and are believed to have originated in either the Middle East, North Africa, or the Horn of Africa. Cruciani et al. suggests that EM78, E1b1b predominant subclade in Egypt, originated in, northeastern Africa, which in the study refers specifically to Egypt and Libya Other studies have shown that modern Egyptians have genetic affinities primarily with populations of North Africa the Middle East and the Horn of Africa, and to a lesser extent European populations. Some genetic studies done on modern Egyptians suggest a more distant relationship to sub-Saharan Africans and a closer link to other North Africans. In addition, some studies suggest lesser ties with populations in the Middle East, as well as some groups in Southern Europe. A 2004 mtDNA study of Upper Egyptians from Gurna found a genetic ancestral heritage to modern Northeast Africans characterized by a high M1 haplotype frequency and a comparatively low L1 and L2 macrohaplogroup frequency of 20.6%. Another study links Egyptians in general with people from modern Eritrea and Ethiopia. Though there has been much debate of the origins of haplogroup M1 a 2007 study had concluded that M1 has West Asia origins not a sub-Saharan African origin. Although the majority of the M1A lineages found outside and inside Africa had a more recent Eastern Africa origin origin a 2003 Y-chromosome study was performed by Lukot on modern Egyptians, with haplotypes V, 11, and IV being most common. Haplotype V is common in Berbers and has a low frequency outside North Africa. Haplotypes V, 11, and IV are all predominantly North African, Horn of African haplotypes, and they are far more dominant in Egyptians than in Middle Eastern or European groups. Y-DNA haplogroups A study using the Y-chromosome of modern Egyptian males found similar results, namely that Northeast African haplogroups are predominant in the South but the predominant haplogroups in the North are characteristic of North African and West Eurasian populations. Autosomal DNA genomic analysis has found that Berber and other Maghreb communities are defined by a shared ancestral component. This Maghrebi element peaks among Tunisian Berbers. It is related to the Coptic ancestral component, having diverged from these and other West Eurasian affiliated components prior to the Holocene. North Moroccans as well as Libyans and Egyptians carry higher proportions of European and Middle Eastern ancestral components, respectively whereas Tunisian Berbers and Sahrawi are those populations with the highest autochthonous North African component. A recent genetic study published in the, European Journal of Human Genetics, in Nature showed that Northern Africans are closely related to Europeans and West Asians as well as to Southwest Asians. Northern Africans can clearly be distinguished from West Africans and other African populations dwelling south of the Sahara. Coptic Christians of Sudan according to Y-DNA analysis by Hassan et al. 45% of Copts in Sudan carry haplogroup J1. Next most common was E1b1b, the most common haplogroup in North Africa. Both paternal lineages are common among other regional Afroasiatic-speaking populations, such as Beja, Ethiopians, and Sudanese Arabs, as well as non-Afroasiatic-speaking Nubians. E1b1b reaches its highest frequencies among native populations such as Amazighs and Somalis. The next most common haplogroups born by Copts are R1b, most common in Europe, and the widespread African haplogroup B. Maternally, 
Hassan found that the majority of Copts in Sudan carried descendants of the macrohaplo group N. Of these, haplogroup U6 was most frequent, followed by T1. In addition, Copts carried 14% M1 and 7% L1C. A 2015 study by Dobin et al. identified an ancestral autosomal component of West Eurasian origin that is common to many modern Afroasiatic speaking populations in Northeast Africa. Known as the Coptic component, it peaks among Egyptian Copts who settled in Sudan over the past two centuries. Copts also formed a separated group in PCA, a close outlier to other Egyptians, Afroasiatic-speaking Northeast Africans and Middle East populations. The Coptic component evolved out of a main Northeast African and Middle Eastern ancestral component that is shared by other Egyptians and also found at high frequencies among other Afroasiatic-speaking populations in Northeast Africa. The scientists suggest that this points to a common origin for the general population of Egypt. They also associate the Coptic component with ancient Egyptian ancestry, without the later Arabic influence that is present among other Egyptians, especially people of the Sinai. 